Hey guys, what's going on today? Random Andrew here. Welcome to the Daily Random Vlog. Today, I'm going to warn you right now about the title, as you've already seen, is discussing something that I was actually waiting for the high def version before I made a final verdict of. Warning, semi-spoiler type topic. Now, I'm not going to tell you something that is going to... I know I had a straight hair there. I'm not going to tell you spots or spoilers from the movie that are going to give away a plot line or tell you something that you really should watch the movie to find out. I just wanted to discuss a couple of things real quick about the movie, being that I decided to, to, to take today as a vlogging day off. Instead of going out and trying to film stuff, I figured I needed a little break, as you couldn't tell by the lack of really fascinating or interesting content the last couple of days. I just wanted to sit and think and relax today of what to do next. Preparation is key if you want success. They say that. Anyways, Ready Player One. Okay. I started out, before I could get a good version of the movie, I listened to an audiobook of Chapter One. Now, books, always so much more detail and in-depth than the actual movie. Uh, but the movie itself was still, was still like very visually stimulating. All the time, you see things, you see hidden things or Easter eggs in the background. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, this was actually my second time watching. The first time was a cam version. If you don't know what a cam version is, that's where some person has snuck into the theater with their video camera and recorded literally the movie in the theater. Now, a screener or an HD version, a screener would be something that is sent to people for review before the movie is actually released. And then somebody somehow sneaks a copy of that out onto the internet. And that's how we end up with the HD versions most of the time. Okay, so things seen in the background. I'm not going to tell you where and when I've seen them. But there's tons of things that aren't really even background. They're right there in your face. Like the DeLorean. Yeah, yeah. Waited so long to see that epic DMC. <sighs> Doc Brown edition of the DeLorean, the time machine. And not only that, it actually had Night Riders, the little thing across the front, the little red light, that's what I was alluding to. And then in the background of some shots, just some of the more epic things to be seen. I have to watch that movie five or six times just to really catch everything that they put into the movie. Now a background uh, inside, one of the characters, his name is H, or her name, his name. I don't want to say the wrong thing there, okay. In the background of the shop that they kind of meet and gather in, in the Oasis, you see, uh, what's that ship called? It's the one driven by the heroes in Spaceballs. Yes, the RV spaceship. It's an actual name. They, get, they call it by a name at some point in it. But just beyond that was the loader from Aliens. Like, that's what I mean. There's so many hidden things thrown into the background of that movie, and I just, I can't even begin to, 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 to start to tell you guys. Ah, the Zemeckis Cube. Okay, interesting little piece of technology in the Oasis. It rolls time back 60 seconds. Why is it called a Zemeckis Cube? Who made Back to the Future? That's right, Robert Zemeckis. So, and then when the Zemeckis Cube is used, if you haven't seen it yet, so just pay attention. I'm not spoiling anything here on you. But listen to the music cues that happen as this event is occurring. You'll recognize them. You'll recognize them. So, do I recommend you to see this movie? Ready Player One? Yes, I very strongly recommend it. You will like it. You will enjoy it. I know I really did. I'm going to do this as an unedited vlog. So I was just checking to make sure I didn't get a low battery warning. Because I'm recording this on the iPhone. Now, a couple other little key notes in it. You have to really pay attention to details in this movie. It isn't just zombify and watch it till it's over. Pay attention. If you see something that you think you saw, it's worth rewinding it that little bit to have a second look. I'm going to watch this movie again sometime just because it was really, really good. And they, I would like to see if there was... I know there was never a sequel in the book written, but I'd like to see more. Is that the way it's? Yeah, I'd like to see more. And how long before we have that kind of thing? Now, uh, I'm found the rest of the audiobook on YouTube, so I'm going to continue to listen to the book because I know the book is always so much more in depth. 
chapter two I have listened to and there's already so much more. Keynote, uh, I wanted to mention a couple little coincidences, well at least one big one. The uh, lead female character in the movie, uh, her avatar's name, Artemis. That's my daughter's name. That was so cool to hear that in a movie. Right, Jess? Yep. <laughs> she just came in from Walking Ping. Now, uh, amongst all the little things that are hidden throughout that movie, the main story behind it, and you know, we could almost go Orson Welles on this, okay? What happens? When we become so obsessed with living in a virtual reality that all you really need is the space to live in to play that virtual reality. What happens if that the, the, the currency, the coin, in said virtual reality does actually become greater than, say, the dollar, the euro, the ruple? It doesn't name some of the other currencies out there, but you get the idea I'm getting at. Then people are going to want to spend more time in the virtual reality making that coin for say be it winning games, doing missions, working a job through a corporation like IOI, uh, IOI are pretty much the bad guys in the movie. You'll see this. You'll get to you'll get to dislike them as the movie goes on. And where else? Where's I going with that? Oh yeah. And by the time you actually do take a break from said virtual reality, which might be better than actual reality, you might notice our space has been reduced to next to nothing. Our living areas will be not much more than the space needed for you to do the virtual reality. And then because we're so busy in that virtual reality, what happens to the rest of the real world while we're gone? Just something to think about. I didn't want to go like completely dark and negative because it was such a great movie. But we also got to remember, reality can be much more enjoyable. After all, anything in a virtual reality is only dreamed up by those living within reality. Anyhow, I hope you guys like my quick little... Uh, synopsis of Ready Player One without too many big spoilers. I don't want to ruin it for anybody, so I didn't want to say too much. If, you, if you've seen it, let me know your favorite parts or some of your favorite things about it or maybe some of the hidden stuff that you caught. Go Iron Giant, by the way. You'll see what I mean. Thanks for watching today, guys. Sorry it's not a regular kind of vlog, but like I said, I wanted to take the day off of actual vlogging just to sit back and think about some more things we can do around town. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Please click like if you enjoyed today's vlog and uh, share if you do that kind of thing as well. If you enjoy the content I'm creating, help me grow this channel. Share the heck out of everything. Tell more. Tell people about it who also enjoy other vloggers out there. I may be no Roman Atwood. I might not be a Furious Pete, but you know I'm sticking with this just to see what happens, see where it goes. I enjoy doing it, so yeah, good excuse. Think positive, stay positive, keep a smile on your face, and we'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night. This vlog's done.